guys, it's hard to believe that we're in our last day of our Philippines challenge. Congratulations, you have made it for our little four-day challenge. It feels good. Um, I really enjoy the book of Philippians, if you can't tell already. It's a lot of really good stuff in there, and it's a little bitty book, but it's really good stuff. And today, I just want to jump right into it. Um, we're in chapter 4. I'm going to start with verse 4. Um, you've probably heard, if you grew up in church, um, or even if you didn't, you may have heard it, um, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. And that's um, Philippians 4.4. 4. And it says several times in here, talking about being content. Um, down in verse 11, it also says, I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. And, you know, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice is what he says here. And it doesn't matter what you're going through. There's something that you can rejoice about. There's something that you can find out of it. There is some positive element that you can find out of it. Um, and I want to jump down a little, I'm going to go back, kind of back and forth a little bit tonight. Um, but it says, finally, brothers, this is in verse eight, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is of excellence or praiseworthy, think about such things. Like I said, rejoice, you know, there is, there's always something that you can rejoice over. There's always something that you can find. There's a positive in everything. You know, you may have lost your job, but maybe God's trying to call you to, to grow on a deeper level of faith with him, or, you know, maybe, you know, there's a situation that happened or something and, you know, it didn't go the way that you wanted, but it could have been a lot worse. Maybe you got in a car wreck, but you know, you, you know, you, you saved your life, you know, your life was spared and, um, you're not in the hospital, you're not, you know, hospital bound for months. And, you know, there's always, there's always, always, always a positive that you can find with everything. Because, I mean, it could always be so much worse. But find something to rejoice about. You know, even if it's a problem or something you're struggling with, there's always some there's some positive in it. Um, and I want to go back up to verse 5. It says, Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. You know, as Christians, we're supposed to be known as a gentle people, not a people of hate, not a people of, you know, of these hot-tempered and, you know, easily angered. And, you know, we're supposed to be gentle. And, you know, Jesus was gentle in the way that he handled people. And, you know, we need to you know, be like him, be a mirror image of him, let, and let him just shine through us, and be gentle with people, um, and one of my favorite verses is Philippians 4, 6, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and verse 7, and the, pre and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, that really, that really speaks to me because there are so many times, like, I'm a warrior. I'm not sure about you, but I'm just, I'm a worry wart. That's hard to say, tongue twister. But I've always been a warrior. Um, my granny's a war, a warrior. <laughs> it's hard to say. Um, but so many times something will happen and my mind just instantly snaps to the negative thing. You know, it'll go to, you know, something happened and I get worried about it. You know, there was a situation the other day, I'm not going into any detail about it on here, but, um, there's a situation that happened in my life and I was scared to go and confront the issue. And, um, you know, it was just, I was really, really, really struggling with it. And I was praying about it. I'm like, God, you know, you know, the situation, you know, the need, you know, and I just, I just prayed that, you know, that God would just pave the way for this to be worked out. Um, it was a professional type of thing. I'll just, I'll go as far as saying that it was a professional, um, issue. And, you know, I, I pray that God would just pave the way and prepare the hearts of the people that I had to talk to. And, you know, I pull up to, um, I'm trying to give much detail. I'm sorry. I, I pulled up to, you know, where I had to go and the other person stepped out of the car and immediately saw that there was a need and just met the need and said that, you know, they couldn't wait to see me until and tell me some things that were on their heart, and they completely blew my mind with the things that I had been praying for, exactly what I had prayed for. It was exactly, you know, what was, the issue was confronted, but it, it was in a way that it wasn't even an issue. It was something that they were excited about, and they wanted to share with me, and, you know, the way that God just does things, it's just so amazing, and I worried so much about it. I worried myself sick for a good 24 hours almost, you know, and it says, if I had, you know, thought about that verse, you know, Philippians 4, um, 6, don't be anxious about anything, you know, don't be anxious, go to God and pray, pray about these things and just ask him and believe him that he's going to take care of you because I prayed and I, it was one of those, I'll be honest, it was a half-hearted prayer. It was, you know, God, please just take care of this. I just, I can't deal with this. Please take care of this. And he did. And he proved me that he would take care of it. And I just want to encourage you today that whatever you're going through, rejoice in the fact that God loves you 
rejoice in the fact that, you know, things could be worse, but God still got his hand on you. No matter how bad it gets, he still has his hand on you. Rejoice and be that gentle Christian that you're supposed to be. Be that gentle person. And no matter what happens, always pray about it and, and know that God's going to answer you. I just encourage you. Um, I've really been encouraged with Philippians um, these past couple of days. And, you know, um, I'm going to kind of go back into Proverbs some because my daughters, the King girls, were studying Proverbs. But I just encourage you, you know, just get find something that speaks to you. Um, find it, whether it's a short book. A lot of these um, these short books in the New Testament are really, really good. Very, very encouraging and packed with lots of good stuff. I just encourage you to find time to um, to get in the Word every day. Take about 10 or 15 minutes in the morning, whatever time that you have. You know, five minutes in the Word is better than no time at all. You know, just take time if you have to let your, um, you know, your Bible app read to you while you're putting your makeup on or, or shaving or whatever, you know. Just take time to get to get in the Word today and get filled and just ask God to open your eyes and show you something. That's what I've done here. And God's just, you know, I've got so many things that, I, that I've highlighted and that I've, I've circled and I've got... Um, just that have just really encouraged me. But you're going to find encouragement when you get in the Word. And I just encourage you to find encouragement in the Word. Love you guys.